Um, yeah, I was kind of curious. Well, first I wanted to ask about claim number 1254, camp transportation for 11,671 bucks. I just wondered what that was. Field trips for summer camps. I'm sorry? Field trips. Oh, field so trips. in other words, the buses are charged out separately and they're not included in the amount of money it costs for the field trips, such as admission and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's separated out. There's, there's so camp piece. transportation is buses. Correct. Okay, good. Is that for the whole summer? Or? No, that's half, I believe. And it, how many field trips is that? Six field trips in an overnight, I believe. And then I do have um, one, two, three, four, five. There's six claims that seem kind of funky to me, and they're all kind of similar. 1261, 1262, 1270, 1342, 1343, and 1344. And, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to pronounce this correctly because I don't know who this person is. Dave Gorett, then there's Shane, then there's Luke, and then there's Robin, and then Shane again, and then Dave Gorett again. And there's $300, $300, $528, $446, $300, and $300 for COMM events. What are COMM events in? What's the $300? It just seems kind of a round number, like somebody's slipping it in somebody's pocket. Oh, please. I'm making a joke. You don't joke about that. Happy like birthday, that. sweetheart. Shh. You don't make jokes. So about things like I'm that. just kind of wondering what that is. I believe the 300 was a band for a community event, a band for the music. A band? A music band for the community of. Prom events is community events. Why would Dave and Shane and Luke get paid for that? They're, they're all different. They're all different things. A few of our bands, we, we pay them in cash. And a few of the the other things are petty cash reimbursements, I'm assuming, for Luke. But I thought we weren't having petty cash stuff like this. We we ninety five percent of our of our transactions are credit card. When you're running, you know, million dollars worth of activity with the summer camp, some stuff is petty cash reimbursements, it's just inevitable. Okay, well which we turn in the receipt for. So like if we have an expenditure, like let's say we have to go Send somebody to buy ice cream or something. When the Robin has to go buy ice cream. And yeah, I can, I can certainly so understand. So everything has there's a receipt attached to everything that we turn in. But I, I can understand that. But why 300, 300, 300, 300? I mean, it just sounds so weird. Yeah, it's. Pro I'd have to look, but it's it's possibly bands. That's the most petty cash. Bands. You can get. We've also like for our October for our brew fest, we had to buy a couple of things. So there's deposits. I'd have to look. And couldn't we have that? made a little more clear in here? I mean, like I said, we have a Carolyn approved or goes through and double checks everything, we turn the receipts, tag it with the budget line, so, I mean, it's in detail. I don't know how it's reported out to you Okay, guys, so it's sort of like a bucket that is spread out over the uh, Park and Rec Commission, or, I'm sorry, the Park and Rec Department, just to cover band costs. We have petty cash for miscellaneous, miscellaneous okay. expenses that we don't use okay. the calipar for. Thank you.